Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Baldur's Gate. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around five hours. Enjoy! I always find character creation of the utmost importance. I spend quite a while weighing up race, class, and abilities, and that's not even counting the fine tuning of how my character looks. I started the game with a bard, a subclass called The Blade. I like the idea of boosting my party through song, but also bluffing my way through combat. Maybe in a tabletop game this would be fun to play, but here, my bard got spanked. I rerolled as a paladin named Barthaniel. Combat was more satisfying as a result. Baldur's Gate is old school Dungeons and Dragons. You have to rest constantly, not only to refill the spells of your casters, but just to prevent general fatigue. Who knew that walking for 8-10 to 10 hours would tire your party out? Another thing that fascinates me about this system is how precious each hit point is. As long as you have one left, you're good to go. I found it shocking to play an RPG where a lot of your party has health in the single digits. The party members are my favorite part of the game. Alignment is important. Based on how you play, you'll endear or annoy those you're traveling with. You can only hold 5 people in your party. In my short time with the game, I came across 4 others that I had to say no to. I felt an overabundance of choice. Not only for side stories and interesting characters, but alignment as well. Barthaniel the Paladin isn't going to want to travel with evil, but if I played as a roguish scoundrel, that company would be welcome. I want to mention Dorn. I met him in a random encounter traveling to the Nashville Mines. A pair of elvish bandits were robbing me, and after a quick discussion, an acquaintance of the elves appears and kills their backup. After a fight, I meet Dorn, who had been hunting the elves for over a year, and had two more to take revenge upon. The whole encounter was fully voiced, and I was sucked into the drama of it. I wanted to see his story through to its conclusion. I also met a monk. Thanks for watching. So what I think I'm going to do in this video, and maybe from here on out, is use this end bit to not really uh, go over what I talked about in the script, because, you know, that's kind of redundant. But to mention just a few uh, side observations I had while playing the game that didn't quite fit into the scripting. Like, uh, for instance, how uh, the enhanced edition of this game um, has the ability to turn the voices off, or at least turn them down. So when you're clicking in combat, you don't have uh, the characters grunting and saying lines that you hear a million times all the time. Uh, I actually, when I played Pillars of Eternity, I found myself turning off all voices uh, very early on in the game. For such a reason, it gets very annoying to me. Um, in Japanese RPGs, it's okay, as long as there's a Japanese voice track, because I think when the voices aren't in English, it just becomes background noise, you know, when I can't understand them. But um, if you hear English characters just announcing attacks all the time, yeah, it, it, it really weighs on me and it significantly lowers my enjoyment of any game I'm playing. Speaking of Pillars of Eternity, I think it's interesting just that I'm coming to Baldur's Gate having played Pillars of Eternity. You know, Baldur's Gate is kind of the beginning of the Infinity Engine and the modern computer RPG, which was kind of um, revitalized with Pillars of Eternity all these years later. And for me to be playing um, kind of a homage to Baldur's Gate before going back and playing Baldur's Gate. I hope I don't find Baldur's Gate too archaic because I played Pillars of Eternity, which is kind of this new revision of this classic formula first. But I think in general it will be fascinating to compare the two, going backwards as it were. And finally, um, will I be continuing? You know what? I think I will. As I said in the scripted uh, portion, I really enjoyed the party members and their little side stories. I enjoyed exploring, actually, um, traveling between the towns and checking out um, all the wilderness. Um, I was starting to enjoy combat a little more once I turned party AI off and got into the role of assigning commands uh, every battle, even if it was as simple as, uh, you range guys, 
and you melee guys, you focus on this guy or this guy, and uh, you caster, you run away because I want to save your spells for something important. You know, especially because <laughs> only a couple of my characters got to level two um, in my time of the game. And at level one, you have like two or three spells max before you have to go rest. <laughs> So um, I will be looking forward to in the later levels when my spellcasters can just spam something like Magic Missile with impunity. <laughs> so as always, if you'd like to help the channel and show me some love, uh, please like the video. Please comment below on what you thought of the video. Uh, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you're all having a wonderful day.